Um, so I'm here uh, in uh, Uganda. Well, uh, please uh, introduce yourself. I'm Tweske Jude. I work with Joint Effort to Save the Environment. It's a local NGO that has been existing for the last 20 years that works through three thematic areas. Jesse for short. Yeah, yeah. Jesse is Joint Effort to Save the Environment. Um, we work through agriculture, natural resources, and water sanitation and hygiene. Uh, we are here at Weramule, uh, an area that is um, that, that is next to the river Semuliki. Yeah, we can see the river here at the back. Um, th this area suffered a lot because of, of, of being adjacent to the river. One, floods. Two, um, water and sanitation and hygiene levels are low. And then three is uh, the, the, the huge number of animals that are in here that access water from the river banks. Yeah, so, so if you just look at this side, you can see this. So area is a, is a floodplain, right? Yeah, it's a floodplain. And plain. the people here, they're mainly cattle and goat... Uh... Keepers, they're pastoralists. Yeah. Um, why actually we chose the, the, this, this area um, is that um, it was a highly endangered area. It was so... Um, it was devastated. Uh, there was a lot of human interaction between human beings and the river. So it had been destroyed. Just came in through funding from WWF to, to come and pilot out on a few interventions that uh, can help restore the river banks of the river Semiliki. Just down here you can see a, 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 a regenerated river bank. As a result of our interventions, what we did is that we came up with a community, thought of what can be done, and among those that activities that were chosen out was, was doing the fencing. Mm. You can see on the other end, yeah. there's a, a, a fence that has been established by Bob Dwyer that limits interaction between, I mean, of, of human beings and animals uh, and, and the river. Because of that, as a result of that, we are seeing the river banks regenerate and water is receding. And because of this, um, we, we anticipate uh, a lot of fish to be coming up in the near future. Why? Because this, this wetland will be a fish breeding area. Mm. At the same time, we are doing a lot of uh, other activities that, that will help improve on the lives of human beings. And so this pilot has been now ongoing for three years? Yeah, this, this project has been ongoing for three years. So it takes a bit of time before you see results, huh? I, I understand. It's, um, like, like I say, with the restoration, it does not just come easily. It's about a um, change of altitude, patience, at the same time also investing a little bit on, on areas that really matter. Yeah. And um, what we're doing now, we are, think, we are rethinking of interventions that are going to help uh, improve on people's livelihoods because you got to have conservation when, when people's livelihoods are not improved. Okay, well, so, thank you so much. We, we see people are coming now. So uh, thanks for explaining this and uh, hopefully uh, more of this uh, great stuff in the coming time. Yeah, thank you very much.